Now I already took one guy out here earlier. He's kind of like the the scout, the guy on point. And did I go the wrong way? Yes, it did. Doesn't matter. He is right here, okay? There's three guys right here, and I'm going to show you how to take down, take down those guys, no problem. First of all, let's stealth up here and grab this guy's ammo that we couldn't take earlier because we were full up. And you got any milk money? No, you don't. And let's quick save, just in case I fuck up. Now, just for demonstrational purposes, show you what's going on here in case you didn't see the previous video okay so it's three guys right there okay it's uh, problematic from this position to do takedowns on all of them okay what you could do is um, you could throw a concussion grenade and then just go in there with a shotgun and blow them all away but you won't get as many points okay but you can take them all down if you go about it like this okay first of all you gotta get your feet dirty go in the dirty water and stealth all the way down underneath him, okay? Hang it right here. And from this position, you have a much better chance, alright? Now what we're going to do is we're going to deke him out, okay? You can actually just sneaky sneaky right over this way, okay? No problem. Okay, they're over there. And it's the same deal as I explained before. Whenever you create a disturbance or something, or get one of them alerted, they always just send one guy, okay? So I'm just going to whip this can over there. They all get alerted, or two or three of them get alerted, and then they just send one guy to investigate. That's it. This is pretty much a standard throughout the game. So just watch him. Basically, we want him to come up, stop, and then turn his back on us when he goes out of the alarm state, okay? So he looks around a bit. Hearing things, seeing things. Man, I got He turns lay around, off. he's way out of position, so it's just perfect to take down on him. Yes. And Bob's your uncle, okay? So let's drag him out of the way. How you doing there, buddy? I feel like a little groggy. Yeah, you are. Right. Give me your milk money. You won't be needing that anymore. And his pocket secretary basically gives you the code for the antenna hub. We won't, we won't be needing that anymore. We've already done that. That's for the main mission, okay? I think two or three guys have that same code. So, hey, ain't broke. Don't fix it. Let's do it again. Rinse and repeat. They get alerted, or alarmed rather. They send one guy. Because they're macho idiots, they figure, well, you know, there's just a little noise down the alley. Why should we send everybody? And by the time he gets here, your um, energy bar should be refilled. Same deal. He eventually loses interest, turns around, he's way out of position, then we go do a takedown on him. Come on, man, step up. You want me to step up? Okay. How's this? Oh, well, yeah. There we go, and we have stepped up. And give me your milk money. And you're hiding a 10 mil pistol there. Give it up. Come on, give it up. I think he's dragging him underneath him. There he is there. <laughs> okay. And finally, this guy here. You can just sneak right up behind him if you hook around to the right very carefully, okay? So let's just do that now. And while we're sneaking up, our energy bar will be refilling. It's flashing now. It should be refilled any minute. How you doing there, buddy? Enjoying a nice little bonfire in the, the garbage can, eh? Oh, I think it's time for you to take a little nap. There you go. And grab his ammo and his milk money, and that is that. So now, the DRB sewers have been pwned. And we have one final task to do here, and that is to collect the Praxis Kit behind the weak wall. Okay, That is right here. The weak wall is right there, alright? And you can see it by, by the crack, okay? See the crack there? That's, that always indicates a weak wall, okay? So you don't need... Um, 
Where is that? This one here. You don't need this augmentation to get three weak walls. You can actually shoot down weak walls using the 10 mil pistol. It takes 30 rounds, okay? It takes 30 rounds, but you could do it. Uh, but I think a lot of easier way to do it is just use um, some kind of like explosive. So we use a uh, fragmentation mine. I got lots of them. This one here. Let's just clean up the inventory here a little bit. The game has been adding stuff to my quick inventory because I've been picking up, picking stuff up. And let's put the concussion grenade there just uh, for emergency purposes. Okay, so the fragmentation mine is activated, or rather highlighted. And uh, I left my stun gun at home, so we're going to have to use, say, a 10 mil pistol. Round. <laughs> and that's that. All right. There she blows. Here's the free Praxis kit. We get 200 Explorer XP and collect some credits. And booyah, we have now got 10 Praxis points in Detroit. And we only spent one. All right. So that is mission completed. Uh, objective completed. Um, yeah. But we're going to go for 11, like I said. Okay. And we're going to con continue. My miss the spot radar is going off. Hang on, sorry about this. <laughs> Got the practice kit. <sighs> Got the money. Let's see what you miss the spotters do to me. <laughs> Got me double checking. Anybody's got any issues with me going back and double checking? <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> you see, Mr. Spotter, flame him back to the Stone Age for me, will you? Thank you very much. Okay, so it's up to the DRB warehouse, and we're going to continue our stealth run there. By going up here, we can get another. 200 Explorer XP by going this route and blowing down another weak wall. And the weak wall is right there. All right. So same deal. Whip a frag grenade over there. And there's going to be a guy behind there, okay? So get ready to take cover as soon as you blow the wall. Okay, he takes him down. And... Another guy comes over to investigate. Come on over, don't be scared. Atta boy. Here's a good bad guy. Come a little closer. Why, are you scared? Come on. Come a little closer. Come on. Are you frozen in time? Just gonna wait for your alarm timer to run out? You are, aren't you? <laughs> okay, this guy is about as bright as a bag of rocks. Okay, so we'll loot his buddy. Still alarmed. He's wondering what the fuck happened. Ah, it's a good bad guy. Who's a good bad guy? Okay, you ready? I oh, yeah. If I get you with it, my sides. Boom, boom. Where's your pistol? I don't have one. Yes, you do. Give it up. Did your pistol clip through the floor? This frequently happens. Okay, no problem. You got a pistol. Give it up. Did you give up your milk money? Yes, you did. Okay, this is another way into the DRB warehouse, okay? 
Um, <laughs> what happens if you jump down there, Slack? Okay, you want to see what happens? Oh. <laughs> you die. Oh. It's just too far. Okay, so let's load. If you can get down there, though, you get a, a 200 Explorer XP bonus, all right? So there's only two ways to get down there and get that bonus. One is to spend a couple Praxis points on the Icarus landing system, okay? And that will allow you to fall from any height without, without taking any injury, but we don't want to do that. There's actually another way to get down there without having to spend two points on that um, augmentation. And what you do is just run off here, jump, oh. and you kind of stick to a little tiny ledge on the other side, okay? So that'll get you kind of like part way down. And then slide over this way a bit, wait for your health to recharge, do another quick save. And then you do another running jump to the, just kind of like diagonally across to the left, okay? And that will put you on another tiny little ledge. I don't know what this ledge is, but it, it works every time. <laughs> you can stick there, wait till your health to regenerate, and then you can get down. And that'll give you the uh, 200 Explorer XP bonus without having to use uh, the Icarus landing system, okay? And this will put you right in the back door of the DRB warehouse, all right? And we got a guy right there. You can see him on the mini map, okay? The little um, white arrow there. We're going to wait until he turns around before we open the door. Otherwise, we're going to lure him. Waiting up here, boss. Okay, so he turns around and he's gonna do his patrol. Okay, so we can safely open the door now. Keep an eye on him. Don't go out just yet, he's gonna turn around halfway down. Booyah, see? You're gonna get busted if you go out now. Okay, so now it's safe, he goes all the way down. We can sneak up here and wait for him to complete his route. So he's going to go all the way down there. I think he has a smoke or something, and then he comes all the way back. And then when he comes back, turns around and starts down again, we're going to do a takedown on him. Once again, like I said, um, an entire walkthrough of stealthing like this would get old very quickly. Okay, so. I know a lot of you asked me for me to do a stealth walkthrough of the entire game, but that, I'm sorry, that's just simply out of the question. It would just be way too long and way too tedious. And there's no action, you know, it's just, just no action. So here he comes. Come on, hurry up there, buddy. boy, who's a good bad guy? <laughs> now turn around. Turn around. There we go. And... Take down on him. You know what always gets me is when you do a takedown and you're you're crouched, it's that one split second where you're kinda like you know, you just finished the takedown and you're still standing up and the game kinda like leaves you with your your dick hanging out, you're just standing up. <laughs> and then finally it has you crouched back down again. That always gets me. That gets me every time. Okay, so our stealth, massive stealth takedown run of the DRB DRB warehouse has begun, and it will continue down this way. One, two, three, get some.